Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and uh, I'm excited, a little more somber, a little more somber, because there are some things going on uh, in the world that troubles me, and I know that they are troubling you. Now, thank God that the God of the Bible is in charge, and we're going to look to him and watch the Lord work because we need the Lord, and we need to pray that the Lord intervene. And of course, I'm talking about the unprovoked uh, act of aggression by Russia, the Russia uh, Vladimir Putin, as he has uh, invaded a sovereign democratic nation, the nation of Ukraine, and he has invaded them with an unprovoked invasion. Now, from a spiritual standpoint, and I just want to just want to mention it to you, I'm here to invite you to, to Bible study, but I, I do have something to say about this. Jesus said this in Matthew's gospel, chapter number 26 and verse 6. He says, uh, as a matter of fact, let me back up to verse 5. He says, verse 4, he says, take heed to yourself that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. But, oh, my Lord, error, many will fall for their their claim, but look at this. He says, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See that you be not troubled. All these things, notice the language, must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So you Christians out there, who practice abandonment theology, and you say, well, that's the world. We're not going to worry about the world. Oh, we're in the church, and Jesus Christ is going to come back and get us. And he is. But he says here, when you see these things, the end is not yet. I don't know when the end, when the rapture, when the Lord shall return. And let me tell you something. You don't either. But he did say this. When you see these things, he said, see that you be not troubled for all of these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So therefore, we got some living that we got to do. We got some things that we got to cope with. There are some things that we got to be. Uh, not troubled as in so anxious that we fall apart, but, but wise enough to know the times, know the seasons, and know what to do. Russia, for instance, America buys 4,000, 400,000 barrels of crude oil from Russia per day. 400,000 thousand barrels of crude per day that affects gas prices that affects our standard of living you'd be surprised to know the number of products that are uh, oil based you know people people are lampooning oil uh, our, the keystone pipeline which had us on our way we had become the world's leading exporter of energy. We had become energy independent. We were well on our way. And what happened in his first, within his first year, the Keystone pipeline is canceled. The Nord Stream pipeline, a pipeline from Russia to Germany, is given the nod to continue. Now, thank God, thank God, when uh, Putin invaded the Ukraine, in invaded Ukraine, Germany put a stop, put a, put a halt, I hope it's permanent, but I doubt it, on the Nord Stream uh, uh, pipeline, oil coming from Russia going down to Germany. Uh, but uh, one of the things that would have would, would be would, would be more advantageous for us, and, and the president's going to do a, a press conference at noon today, and he may be doing it now. I haven't seen it. I'm here working, talking to you. And by the time this airs, hopefully, uh, he will have announced that he is going to 
uh, uh, finish the key, Keystone Pipeline because energy has a lot to do with these policies. You got to be self-sufficient. I understand the green energy crowd. I understand those who say we want uh, solar, we want green, we want you know we want uh, uh, all these other uh, energy sources. But these sources are not yet. These sources uh, are years and years and years away. We got to deal with what we're dealing with today, and 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 with America being a strong energy source that goes a long way toward getting uh, OPEC getting uh, uh, all of the the NATO nations and the nations of Europe it says to them you have a choice you have someone that you can if, if you don't get all from Russia you can get it from the good old US of A but if we don't have it if we don't have it, well, that gives Vladimir Putin, in my estimation, even more, even more courage to do the things that he's doing. Now, listen, I want to read something to you, President Biden, and, and he said this, and I want you to hear me now. Don't judge me. L listen to me for a moment. Biden said this in a tweet. Vladimir Putin doesn't want me to be president. He doesn't want me to be our next, our nominee. If you're wondering why, it's because I'm the only person in this field who has ever gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Now, we have one president at a time. This preacher is praying for this president to succeed in going toe to toe with him. I'm not like I'm not like the left. I'm not like the left when if if it's not your candidate or your guy in, you pretend as though they can do no good. I remember Gary when when President uh, uh, Trump when he got Salamani, blew him the smithereen, just blew him straight to hell. Uh, Soleimani was responsible for many of the bombs, if not all of them, that was used to cripple and maim our U.S. soldiers. You see commercials today, soldiers with arms missing, legs missing, and all that. Soleimani was behind those things. And uh, President Trump got him, blew him, blew him to hell uh, 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 at a Baghdad airport, uh, uh, if, I, if I'm correct on that, on that location. And you know what we began to say over here? We felt that, that was, he was being too aggressive. Oh, uh, all I know is the Bible says, love your enemies, do good to them that despitefully use. We took a scripture that Jesus used for human interaction, personal interaction between two persons, and tried to apply that to how nations should react with uh, nations. You can't, you can't follow that when you're talking about nations because one nation will destroy another. And uh, I remember when uh, President Trump... Um, in his uh, in ice under him, they arrested 796 MS-13 members and uh, was, the, was the highest total in nine years. And because the president referred to those vicious gang members, vicious gang members as animals, Nancy Pelosi had a problem with what he did. And she keyed on him calling them animals rather than praising him for taking some of the most vicious people uh, on the, uh, who were here illegally, by the way, off the streets. You can't do anything right. Well, that's not my position. I'm praying for the one president that we have. The one president that we all have is President Joe Biden, and uh, we want him to be strong. I'm praying that he's not compromised. I'm praying that the one point, uh, one and a half million dollars that his son allegedly got, uh, Hunter got from the, the, the former mayor's uh, wife of mayor of Moscow, that, that, that that's Russia, that that doesn't compromise him. I'm praying that uh, Hunter's time on the border, Burisma, a Ukrainian gas company of which Hunter had no experience in, in gas, but he was on the board and, and billions, at least a billion dollars flowed in their direction, praying that that doesn't interfere. Even his dealings with Chinese nationals who had their ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Now you see right there, you see Russia, you see Ukraine, and you see China, all right? 
So now I pray that none of these things affects his war policy because Putin, my friends, I believe this. Now, I'm just a cornfield preacher and you can dismiss everything that I'm saying. OK, but I believe that his goal is to restore, to bring back the old Soviet empire that fell in 1991. It took about three years for it to collapse. And I believe that it is his goal to bring it back, to restore it. So that means he may not be satisfied with just uh, conquering and, and seizing control of Ukraine. He may want the Baltic states uh, to the uh, west of Ukraine also, who were a part of the old Soviet Union. Well, those Baltic states are now a part of NATO. And if one NATO state is attacked, then all of the members of NATO has to defend that NATO uh, uh, country. Well, America is a part of NATO. And so now we're talking about, the, can you, it can possibly lead to pulling our soldiers and troops back into the theater of war. Putin has have, have threatened that if anybody interferes, that they will reap consequences that they have not seen. Well, these can be consequences, my friends, that can make life much more difficult for you and make life much more difficult for me. We already have inflation at a 40-year high. You see what's going on in the stock market, how prices are dropping. Oh, I, I got to, when I leave here today, I got to go fill up. I hate to stop by the pump. I hate to stop by the pump, but I've got to do it. All of these things, my friends, affects us. So it's, it's time, it's time, it's time to pray for the peace of our nation. It's time to pay, pray for the peace of, of Jerusalem. Pray that God uses uh, President Biden. I'm, again, I'm not like the, 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 the people who were, cut off their nose to spite their face. If it's, if it's not their candidate, uh, we're not going to support anything that he does. The media, we're not going to, we're not going to uh, report on any good thing. Uh, one thing I do know, all, we heard all, all for four years uh, that President Trump was uh, 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 Putin's puppet. I don't know whether he was his puppet or not. All I know is there was no aggression for four years. All I know is that President Trump brought troops home and in less than one year was sending them back overseas, putting them in positions to have to hazard their lives possibly. We need to pray and we need to pray that God uh, brings peace. We need to pray that God turns Putin's mind. The Bible speaks of Mog and Magog and, and de dealing with uh, 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 Russia. And, and we'll, we'll talk to you a little bit more about that. But I wanted to speak to you today. The people of Ukraine, you've seen uh, pictures on the news of people trying to get out of the city. I saw a picture of a lady standing with her hands open, blood all over her. Tears rolled from my eyes. I heard one video where the bums are falling and you hear little children crying in the background. Those children are children just like our children. They are terrified. They don't know what's going on. President Zelensky is saying to the citizens of Ukraine, stand your ground and fight. And they're going up against a massive, a massive Russian uh, army. And uh, 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 Putin has invaded uh, from the east and from the south as well as uh, from the north. And uh, he wants to just uh, do a cyber warfare and cut off all of their computers and override, overburden their servers and, and do all those things to cut that nation off. I want to pray today and I want you to pray with me for peace. And I want to pray for strong American leadership. We have, we, have, we have criticized our country so much that I'm afraid that many don't know the role that America plays in the world. America is one of the strongest forces for peace in the world. And we need a strong military. There's a video out there before I pray. There's a video out. I won't show it. You can look it up. The video shows the recruitment videos from Russia and what they're putting out there to recruit their soldiers. 
Man, they show guys that look like big time boxers and MMA fighters and bodybuilders. They're showing them with guns. They're showing them in the snow. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the advertisement is in Russian and I don't speak Russian. I can only go by the images on the recruitment video. It's saying it, they, are, they are recruiting men. Men, they look like they look like they're drones. They look like they're clones. These guys are just oh, they got the bronze. And then this, it does a comparison showing the U.S. Uh, recruitment video. A little girl, a girl. First of all, the U.S. recruitment video is a cartoon, a cartoon of a girl, and the girl was raised by two lesbians, and the girl grew up enjoying the sorority. And the girl decided she wanted to serve our country, and, uh, and so she joins the, the army. So Russia is recruiting with bronze and strength. We're recruiting with cartoons and lesbianism and uh, uh, sororities. Now, if you fishermen out there, if the bait, the bait plays a role in the catch, if it does, I'm not a fisherman. If it does, who are we recruiting? I am of the notion that we don't need to make the U.S. military a uh, social experiment. I'm not, I'm not for trying to make sure we're woke in the military. I'm for making sure we're ready to fight. Now, my time is up, but I want to pray, and I want to invite you tonight to Bible study. Father, I pray for our nation. I pray, O oh God, that righteousness will prevail. I pray, O oh God, for our president. I pray for President Biden. God, anoint him. God, I pray that you would raise him up to let this be his finest hour, that he does what is necessary along with the NATO nations to stop this aggression. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that the aggression is stopped without a full-blown war. I pray that no one else in the Ukraine, in Ukraine, is killed. I pray, oh God, that the bombs stop. I pray that sanctions work. I pray, God, that somehow you enter in and bring peace. I pray, oh God, that you will strengthen our nation. I pray, oh God, that you will touch those who are in the positions of authority, that we will keep our military strong, that we will see the, the value of uh, uh, being uh, projecting strength as a deterrence. Oh God, oh God, weakness plays no role on the world stage. So I pray God for our nation and I pray, oh God, for revival in America that we turn back to you. Blessed is that nation whose God is the Lord. Well, God, you are our, you are our God. Lord Jesus, God of the Bible, you are our God and we trust you today and we thank you right now. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help the people of Ukraine. Help the citizens of Ukraine. Help those people. Save, oh God. Bring deliverance. Stop the bloodshed. Stop Putin in his tracks. Help, oh God. We need you as never before. So we call on you. We ask you to intervene in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for watching. I ran a little long today, but there's a lot going on. I want to invite you to join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, Bible study. After saying all that, I want you to come out to be a part of our Bible study. I have something to say to you, and God's going to bless us from his word. Thank you, my friends. Make it a fantastic day. Make it a God first day. I love you. See you tonight.